Greetings. Imagine you're stepping into a new leadership role. You're charged with guiding a team to victory, steering them away from the pitfalls of inadequate management. Now, the real challenge begins. How do you inspire top-notch performance without falling into the trap of overbearing control or, conversely, neglecting guidance? Today, we'll demystify the art of leadership and unveil how you can excel as a manager with methods that not only produce stellar results but also foster a flourishing team dynamic. Let's embark on this transformative journey together, charting a course towards unparalleled success and personal growth. Crafting crystal clear objectives is our first port of call. Picture yourself not as the overlord dictating every smallest task, but rather as an ally removing the blindfolds, illuminating goals, and empowering your team to strike the perfect balance between challenge and enjoyment. By helping each team member articulate and pursue their own aims, you build a culture centered on shared vision and mutual accomplishment. Imagine a typical week where, instead of a vague sense of what's required, you engage in a reflective dialogue, asking your colleagues, what achievement would be the crown jewel of your week? Encourage ambitious thinking while guiding them to pinpoint the goal that will truly elevate the team's efforts. As the Pareto Principle goes, often it's that one critical goal that eclipses rest. Assist them in fleshing out this goal when it embodies, the tangible steps to reach it, and the measurable outcomes that indicate success. Now, visualize the ripple effect as each individual crystallizes their target, delineates the path, and commits it to paper. A simple email is the conduit to alignment ensuring you're both on the same wavelength, evaporating misunderstandings before they have a chance to cloud your collective efforts. With their roadmap in hand, you encourage your teammates to track progress daily. Each evening, they'll reflect, did today push me closer to my target? This self-assessment instills a mindset of continual striving a game where each day brings them one step closer to victory. Next, we shine a spotlight on commendation, the fuel of excellence through our second secret, the one-minute praisings. When a team member wrestles with new challenges or technologies, make your shadowing an exercise in encouragement rather than surveillance. Every step forward, every new command mastered, is an opportunity to inject a surge of positivity. Brilliant, you've nailed it. This behavior becomes embedded and enthusiasm soars when acknowledgement and pride interlace. Remember the toddler's first wobbly steps? Each small triumph met with cheers propels them further. Apply the same principle to your team, showering them with praise for each stride forward they make. And as they advance, ease away from direct commendations coach them towards self-recognition, nurturing their own internal choir of cheers. In the instances where goals slip through fingers, we turn to our final secret the one-minute redirect. When performance wanes, engage in a compassionate yet candid conversation that merges clear feedback with reaffirmation of their capabilities. Emulate the passionate coach who, in a timeout, paints a vivid picture of errors but swiftly shifts focus to a player's potential, rekindling the internal fire needed to pivot a game towards success. Let them know, missteps do not define them, they're capable of grandeur. With these three linchpins one-minute goals, praisings, and redirects you're not merely instructing, you're inspiring self-mastery. Your mission becomes facilitating each individual's path to becoming their own catalyst for triumph. As eloquently expressed by those heralded authors, your people never truly work for you they work for the inherent fulfillment within. These insights are woven from the fabled pages of The New One Minute Manager by Ken Blanchard and Spencer Johnson. This tome, though succinct, is replete with wisdom for driving team performance while uplifting spirits a must-read for any burgeoning or seasoned leader. In closing, if you found this discourse enriching, consider a commensurate gesture of appreciation, with details awaiting in the description below. Your support propels our shared quest for wisdom. Now, in keeping with our strides towards excellence, take a moment. What action from today's exploration have you decided to implement in your own leadership path? And if you haven't yet, remember to subscribe, tap the like button, and ring the bell icon. By doing so, you're not just joining a community. You're unlocking a treasure trove of insights that could be the catalyst for your next quantum leap. Thank you for your attention here's to your success and a week brimming with productivity. Imagine yourself reveling in the freedom that comes with breaking from the tried and true path of the 9 to 5 grind. Picture a life where your time is your own, your earnings are no less, yet your hours worked are drastically fewer. Welcome to a revolutionary approach to living, where wealth isn't solely measured by dollar signs, but by the richness of time and what you do with it. What if I told you that you could become part of what is dubbed the new rich, a group that has redefined what it means to be wealthy in today's world? 
We've all been conditioned to view success as a linear path. Attend college, secure a lucrative career, rack up savings, and find contentment. But is someone who earns $100,000 annually by pouring 100-hour weeks truly wealthier than a school teacher earning $40,000 but with more time to enjoy life? Let's think critically through the mathematics of it. A banker burning the midnight oil 100 hours a week, 51 weeks per year, is clocking up 5,100 hours. Divide their salary by that, and you get roughly $19.60 per hour. On the other hand, a teacher working 40 hours a week for about 35 weeks due to school breaks is working 1,400 hours a year. Their rate? Approximately $28.57 per hour, with a wealth of free time the banker can only dream of. This scenario beckons us to question the conventional wisdom about work and worth. Moreover, how would these calculations change if we could decrease those work hours even further while maintaining or even increasing income? It's not just a pipe dream. It's a model presented by Tim Ferriss in his seminal work, The 4-Hour Workweek. He introduces the concept of the new rich, the ones that work in the cracks of time, from the locales of their choice, harnessing the power of the internet and outsourcing to tip the scales in favor of leisure without surrendering prosperity. Let me illustrate. The emergence of the internet, an extraordinary tool like no other before, has exponentially expanded the potential for human enterprise. Rather than a storefront's limited foot traffic, online businesses can now attract virtually infinite eyes. Every leading website you come across on a Google search owes its revenue stream to ad placements and affiliate deals, requiring minimal daily effort from the site owners after initial setup. The crown jewel in this structure of hands-off success is passive income, which transforms the momentary effort into a continuous revenue stream. And the power to magnify this effect lies in outsourcing. Imagine reducing your workload by delegating tasks across the globe where the cost of labor doesn't eat into your profits but remains a fair exchange in the context of local economies. I once managed a Kindle Direct publishing business where I outsourced review gathering a 15-hour task to individuals in countries with lower living costs. Thus, turning what would have been a daunting time investment at New York City wage rates into a manageable and cost-efficient process. Through utilizing the internet and smart outsourcing, a new breed of wealth creators emerges. These folks orchestrate their ventures with a keen eye on niche markets, leaning heavily on external teams. It's not uncommon for this approach to reach a point where the original entrepreneur barely has to lift a finger, having outsourced even the management element. Now, don't misunderstand. Joining the ranks of the new rich isn't about a disdain for hard work, it's about intelligent work. It's setting up systems that give you the ultimate currency time. Never before have we had a blueprint for gaining wealth that doesn't tether us to a desk for the majority of our waking hours. And what could you do with this blueprint, this newfound time, this monetary and existential freedom? Maybe learn that language you've always said you would, take up the art class that's been waiting in the wings. Travel, not just on your two-week allocated vacation time, but for months on end, experiencing the world while your business continues to thrive. This opportunity, the chance to live the life of the new rich, isn't reserved for a select few. It's a diverging path available to those daring enough to step off the traditional treadmill of maximizing hours for income. There are multitudes of ways to live and earn, and perhaps now is the time for you to explore the alternatives. Now, if you're as intrigued as I am by this, I extend an invitation to you. Subscribe, like, and hit that notification bell to stay informed on the countless ways to craft a life of richness beyond the bank account. In doing so, you're not just supporting the channel, you're taking the first step towards redefining success on your own terms. As we wrap up this exploration today, think about the steps you could take to join the new rich. If you found value in what we've discussed, feel free to show your appreciation. Any tips are welcome. Look for the link in the description, where you can contribute in line with the insights you've gained. Now, it's over to you. What actions from today's conversation will you take to heart? What changes will you make to draw closer to personal affluence defined not just by your bank account, but by the abundance of time and freedom at your disposal? Let's redefine wealth together and embrace a life where the currency of time reigns supreme.